Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for. Today we're going to have a look at two different things. I think we're going to have a look at blue power and we're also going to have a look at the mob grinder with the spawners in it. I've improved that a little bit and and in order to do that I've been looking at the restrictions. We'll have a look at that as well because some of those bits aren't working at the moment but hopefully they will be later on. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is to grind the wither and this time in third person so you can actually see what happens. So we've prepared this area. I've got three skulls here, so we'll just put those down. If I can reach this one, of course. That one and this one, and then we'll close it up. We'll come down here, get out of the way a bit until he starts to explode. And then we're going to go and start to hit him. We'll get the sword, sword out. Right, there we go. It always blows off the thing. So I'll come down here like this, and then I'll press F5, and you can see. So we can then start hitting him. <laughs> And as you can see, he's not doing anything any damage. The only thing he does is to knock the sticky piston off, and that's it. So we get to half halfway, and then he starts. He doesn't fly anymore. Actually, that look, did look as though that one went out there. But I think that was just a visual effect. So we got another withering soul. We got another another star, and. Did we get anything else that time? I don't think we did. But I did notice one of those go over that direction. Oh, there's a raiding party over there. <laughs> we'll keep out of the way for the time being. In fact, we could easily kill them and drink some milk and get rid of a bad omen. I believe that works as well. So let me just get back here and to third, third party. Third person. Back to first person again. See, they might be a bit of a nuisance. Let's have a quick... Oh, no, they're going... No, they'll be a nuisance, so I'll get rid of them. Even though they're going the even though they're going the bad wrong way. We'll actually try it out. I haven't tried out whether it works with a milk or not, but we'll do that anyway. Oops, let's get a bit closer. They're a bit on the they're a bit on the range and they are moving. Out of range. Who wants to come and say hello? I should have done that good. Right, so I've now got Bad Omen, I guess. Yes, I have. And I believe we can drink a bucket of milk. Now, I should have no problem getting milk. Let's get the bag out and get a bucket out of it. I think there's no buckets in there. But you'll see I've got quite a few blaze rods in here, as it happens, because I was doing... So you'll have a look. You'll see that in a while. So let's go back and get out of this bag. I want this bag out of here. I should put the sticky piston back again. I'll do that now because it makes sense to me now while i've got it on me we'll just put it down there like that and then you see that the thing will open up as soon as we get it so we can put the stuff back in again for the next wither um right milk i wanted didn't i, I should have one in this backpack and if i haven't got it in here it should be in the white backpack okay the white backpack here yeah, we've got 13 buckets in here now we've got plenty of cows around, so we can have a bucket of milk from there and just drink the milk. Does that get rid of bad omen? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Didn't know that. Actually, I was just reading the wiki and I thought, ah, oh, okay, let's have a look. So we've got the captain of the raiding, of the raiding party. That's the one that gives you the bad omen. So now, oh yes, I know what to do. I've got the stuff prepared in here that I was going to do for wrong place. In here, there's three different things I've been looking at here. There's waystones, which is these recipes here. There's the dank, and there's blue power. Now, blue power has different things like this one's got red lumar, and red lumar is basically used to, to make lighting. Unfortunately, the lighting's a bit dim, and these wire tiles, as far as I can see, I don't know how to get them to work. There are some parts of the mod that haven't been implemented. So we can take a red one and a, a blue redstone wire tire and a blue stone wire tire out and just put them down. Unfortunately, from what I can see, I would expect them just to put them down like this, but you can't. So that's a bit of a shame. So here are some lamps. The, the recipe for these lamps, they're, they're quite neat, but they're not very bright. As you can see, this one's actually on. Let's just turn it off. 
In fact, probably the best thing to do would be to use a lever on those. Let's put a lever down there. And you'll see that this is going on and off, but you'll notice the red one isn't. Now the reason for that is this is because it's an inverted red cage lamp. So let's look at the recipe for those because they're, they're fairly fairly straightforward. We're going to look at restrictions as well, but at um, power. So we have all of these items here. Most of it's blue power, just these four are restrictions. So, for example, Lumar is red dye plus glowstone redstone recipe. Unshaped crafting, I guess, but we so we get it's fairly easy to make. You get two of these. The uses of those you can make different things. You can make a red lamp, an inverted fi red fixture, a red fixture, and an inverted red lamp. Plus, you can make the two cages, so they look like this. The only difference is this one is has a inverted redstone. Unfortunately, you need to be very close. <laughs> so. For example, this isn't going to turn. It's actually illuminated. Strangely enough, it is. It is actually illuminated. If I do this, see, it's not changing colour. So let's break this again and come back a bit nearer. <laughs> and just try it from this place here. Now you can see it's going off and on, working just fine. So you have to have a, a redstone signal of, so look, fifteen fourteen to turn it off. So if I actually connected this up again here and here, you'll see this is actually got on and this is off. So let's just flick them over and you can see that they flick. I think that's off. It's hard to say. Let's just move it back one. <laughs> just in case it's getting the redstone power from this block here. Let's just put it, let's do it here actually. And we can definitely see if it's going on or off. Yeah, you see them swapping over nicely now. So this doesn't need much power to turn it off, and I think that's probably a bug as it happens, but I'm not 100% sure. So red, there are some machines in blue power. It's got world gen. We've already seen that. Um, we got all of this reinforced sapphire glass from blue power and by excavating a volcano um this one here is a alloy furnace blue electric and this one here is a blue electric furnace the reason i put them down is it takes them quite a long time to get power here's a battery block and you can't see anything about it you can right click it as you like and you can't see anything with this one here either but in here you can see it's fully powered and it just acts like a furnace um anything we can cook which i'm going to think there let's just go and get a potato there's bound to be a potato around here somewhere. And let's go and cook it. And it just acts like an ordinary furnace, so there's no... So there's nothing special about this. That's the furnace, isn't it? You see, I've already cooked some sand up to make some glass, so... You see here, it's reasonably fast. It's not desperate, but it's reasonably fast. So we get a baked potato. I'll put that in my hot bar to eat it. The aloe furnace is working the same way. This is the one I couldn't work out the previous time because it needs its own power. Blue power has its own dedicated power. This one's a block breaker. So, for example, we can put down a block. It doesn't matter what block we put down. Um, as a chest. So if I right-click this chest, it breaks it. If I put this chest down again, it breaks it. Now, very strange this. I'm not quite sure what I've done differently than my previous. I made a video and I made exactly the same one as this, but it didn't work. And it asked me why. I was putting it down, putting redstone signals on it, and it was just not working. You see, better with a button, wouldn't it? So we could take this off and put a button on it instead. Then it would break. Just a redstone signal of any kind. Will, will cause it to break. So let's put this down again. Let's take that redstone torch I've got here. Put this down. So that works fine. So that's look I would export it how I would expect it to work. You put down a redstone torch and it put just generates a redstone signal and breaks it like just as you would expect it to do. Let's put this in here. I don't need that for the time being. 
So that's basically most of what Blue Power has to offer. It also has this engine in here. Um, and the engine is powered by Redstone. And this has got 310 RF in it. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's just break this. I need a pickaxe. This is wire. Let's just break this again. Let's put this down again. When you put it down, it always goes in that that direction. Blue electric engine. If I don't connect it up to here, let's just see what happens. Well, this time it's put. Yes, it's filled it up. So it's still actually it's retained the power from before from before I broke it. Let's go back inside here. I don't want to bother crafting these. All the recipes are in are in the book. There are a few quirks with the blue power stuff but it's not difficult it's just a couple of steps and you have to make some special machines to do it well the one i would like to make is the multimeter let's go and craft that because that does give you a reasonable amount of information about it let's have a look so the multimeter is if i can find it <laughs> is this block here or item so it's three copper ingots three green, green terracotta and one tessalite do we have those we've got everything except for the green terracotta let me just dump this stuff out of here i don't need this and i don't need this i probably don't need the red luma let's put that back over here like this. and we can put these two away as well don't need those So we need need some green terracotta, and I've got none at all. So I'll make some terracotta. Look, very straightforward. Everybody knows how to make terracotta. In here, I've got some blocks, and I should have in these blocks. Well, it's like all those, because yes, okay. I need to show you. Uh, yes, yeah, something went strange there. But never mind. Let's let's I'll take this with me. The rest I'll put back later on. Um, clay. So we need eight pieces of blocks of clay. Let's just cook those up and that'll make terracotta. And while that's doing that, I've got to make some cactus green. Um, so we need a piece of, some cactus. One piece of cactus will do. There's cactus in that. Let's just take this out of here and put that into the hopper here. And then it'll get automatically cooked while it, as soon as it finishes. So. Now I'm going to put this glass on. Let's get rid of this rotting flesh. And let's get rid of the glass as well. I think the glass might go in here quite nicely. Yes, it does good. So, right. They should probably be cooked by now. Let's have a look. Indeed, they are. So, green duck. This is cactus paste when you cook it. And you just have to craft cactus paste into cactus green. This didn't work, as far as I can remember with green dye if you look at this let's just do it round the block just a chest chest pattern with the green dye in it you get these eight green if you look at the recipe for these it only allows green dye it doesn't allow anything else so we have to do it this way so then we can put those around here like this and we get a multimeter let's clear that off and the other thing I wanted to make was something from restrictions. I wanted to make this one way. And there we go. It was actually being pulled out again. Good. This is a one way thing. It says it pushes entities, uh, mobs and players a distance equal to the redstone signal it receives. So we're going to give it a redstone signal with a lever of 15. So we'll see. Anyway, let's look at this multimeter and see how that works. What I'm actually doing at the moment is actually having a if you can right click this on here it doesn't it just opens up the interface. It doesn't help that much. If you right click this on the motor, it says it's reading ninety nine volts, but it's generating ninety nine point well let's say hundred hundred volts and it's got no amps in it. This one here is actually still doing the same thing because it's full. I think it's full. So as soon as you've actually got power going through, these will actually generate power for you. So I can put this cable down here um, like that and it disconnects between the the engine and the battery box if, and the solar panels you can build they're fairly straightforward so have a look at the, let's have a quick look at those 
These are bits which are complicated with a diamond draw plate. You need the diamond draw plate to make copper, fine copper wire. If you look at the recipe for this one, you use that. The other tool you needed was a saw, and it doesn't matter which saw I, you make. I think I made a diamond saw. This one here. Yes, I did made it. Actually, this one's interesting. Malachite. I haven't actually got any malachite. I don't even know if it, maybe that's been added after, because I didn't get any from when I was mining anything else. So let's have a look at the recipe for that. Is basically two diamond, two pieces of iron, three sticks, and then the use of it is to make these silicon wafers from silicon balls. Silicon balls are just basically um, some of the recipe of those. Eight sand and eight coal will make one silicon ball, and that makes sixteen wafers. And the wafers. If you put them into an alloy furnace, you can make red doped or blue doped wafers. And then the uses of these, there's only one machine that uses that, and that's the block breaker. And, and the other one here, there's about three machines to make the blue, with the blue grate. So you can make a solar panel, you can make a silicon chip tile, and that's it. So you can make just solar panels with this. There's not that much. So you can make a load of these silicon. Um, solar panels it doesn't tell you how much power they generate but it, it, they generate enough so to do the smelting the only thing you've got in here is that so they they do enough so next thing let's go downstairs now and have a look at the um upgraded spawner nope i don't want to do that i just decided i do need to do something else first Let's come and do that over here. It might be dangerous. Because <laughs> there are a few mobs over there. Let's just get rid of that creeper. I don't want him anywhere near my base. Oops, too high. Get rid of the zombie. So, the one, these things, let's put, get this out of the way. A pusher. This basically pushes entities. And it'll push entities about 15 blocks. Let's put beside this one the attractor I've got two attractors and then let's put the one-way block here but let's be a bit careful because there are some things which are picking up items as we drop them so you can see so this is the pusher let's put a lever on it let's put a lever on each one of these blocks here so always the levers are so I don't need to shift do I no now this one doesn't need a lever the one-way item it's supposed to basically push players and items without redstone just for the sake of it let's put a lever on it like this because obviously it's not working because i'm right in the front end of it end of it here and it says it doesn't need any power so the next thing here is the pusher now that definitely does work let's just turn it on sure enough i'm being pushed long way away I try to walk i can't walk anywhere near it after go jump over here go around the side of it to actually do that or you can put the, the glass boots on the glass boots which I haven't got are here but we'll have a look at those in a second this one here is the attractor now what you're supposed to this is supposed to attract you and it's not doing anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chest plate off just drop something on the ground here I've got seen these steps let's just drop these down here I don't know much are they let's drop them over there it certainly doesn't seem to be working at the moment. And the same is true for the one way pusher. You push it. Oops, I don't want to do that. Do I? Put them down there. I'm going to push those, isn't it? Let's just put it, drop it down here. Unless I'm mistaken, let's just. Just to prove it, let's put one over here like this. Okay, let's turn this one on. Sure enough, that gets pushed away. It'll get picked up by the item collector over there. And this one. It's supposed to work doesn't work so you just be aware that those two items unfortunately are not working bit of a shame really so my steps will have got pushed to here and then they'll got picked up by one of these item collectors and pushed into this uh, it didn't get pushed into that one that's interesting but there is something else while I'm here you'll notice I've got some XP but also I've got uh, 82 nether star essence and only 12 dragon egg essence and i removed i don't know if i showed you this or not can't remember to be dead honest with you oh something's been here and 
damage that. I wonder what that could have been. The only thing it probably could have been is one of those um, traders. They are a bit pesky. Oh, that's what one can't do with that. Can I do that? Oh. Like that. So here I've got the dragon egg on, which is, which is growing on um, farmland from farming for blockheads. And this one is growing on insanium essence. And obviously the insanium essence or the same insanium farmland is actually not working very well. So what I'll do is I'll replace this insanium farmland with some ordinary dirt with the um, farming for blockheads growth and tread protection. And we'll see how that goes. And then I'll remove the essence and see if the, the essences stay the same. So now, all that talking, sorry about that. So as I said before, I, either the insane farmland is really not very good, and I actually don't think I would expect them to be very good, but they're not. <laughs> right. So here are the boots. Let's just take these boots off here. Shift left click when it's like that and you get them into your hand and come down here. Now, as you can see, I have basically reduced the size of this. This was set up to being um, 20 by 20, but that's too big because the pushes can only push 16. So with a redstone block behind them. So I've put these redstone blocks, of redstone behind things. And here we've got a player damage trap player damage trap well what that does is it basically kills a mob with player um let's put this back on actually while i'm thinking about it as a player so you'll get player drops you don't have fortune or looting so there's no looting involved but you do get player drops on it what i was going to do here is just going to put down the um the chest i picked up a chest and i right clicked it off didn't i Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Have I got in here any chests? Hopefully I've got a chest somewhere about here. I haven't. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put down one of these shulker boxes. I don't need those for the time being. Very useful, but not for this. Let's just put away these remotes here. That's what I wanted to do. The one I want to show you is the lights blazes. So let's open this door here now you'll see all of these are on and i don't want to get into here until i get yes actually i've got them on haven't i glass boots so you can quite safely walk around here what i should do is i should put on top of this lot another pusher to push the mobs from spawning on top they do i put glass blocks on but that didn't prevent them they're still spawning on top so i'm going to just put a pusher uh, and one of these ends and we'll let it push the stuff away so most of these are set at two blocks which is good for everything except for babies and babies are only spawned by drowned anyway um so here was the middle row and i was hoping to be able to push the blazes so they fell down across here like this which works fine and then they fall down and they get pushed over here and then these blocks are going to push them across to this corner over here and this is the same for this when it reaches this corner over here, the blazes are going to be pushed with this one down here. It's not 100% working properly, but we'll, we'll have a look at that now. So let's just turn on the blazes like that. Stand back here a bit because we can see quite happily. We're, we're safe enough here, actually. They're not going to do anything. And they'll spawn. And you'll see them spawning and they're getting pushed nicely across over to this corner didn't take too long in fact very boring while waiting for them to do their bit probably should go and get um I should have probably go and get a dragon they can do that there you go you see now they're getting pushed now this one on the corner here isn't being pushed down and I don't know why now he is but you see he wasn't getting pushed down before I think they can't get pushed down while there's one on top of it. There we go. Two more going over. Let's just look at them from here. The one will get ground up fairly quickly. That one. They can't get away. And the other one all then should be able to come down and get ground as well. But it's not working. You'll see he's actually stuck. 
here should be being pushed because you can see and they should be going down there I said, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with that but the attractors don't work as you've already seen otherwise they'd be pulled as well in this direction oh it's a shame about them. I would have liked them to work <laughs> so let's just turn off the blazes and I'll show you the drowned as well I've got some drowned let's turn them on unfortunately I need to close the door with the drowned because of because of babies on there you go and I can actually kill them as well so what will happen they don't get they don't spawn very many I think they're only spawning one at a time I haven't got a trident I was hoping to get a trident I spent quite a long time sitting here we go there's the baby one it's as I said the baby ones do not get pushed so maybe I just shoot him Well, that worked nicely, and that did too. <laughs> Here we go. So you can actually get, if you if you can do it, lucky you can get them with the sword as well, or remove this and then they'll be fine. So that's my mob spawner. Much improved than last time, actually, as it happens. I'm quite pleased with it. So what I'll do now, turn on that, which basically turns off the, turn it on again. Well, there is a, a blaze in there so let's just put those in there let's also put oh no i need to go out sometime let's just go out and get rid of that blaze oh okay <laughs> he'll be got rid of now because he's he was stuck in this corner should be getting rid of him thank you so why this stick i'm not 100 sure Right, so I can do that, and I can take the glass boots off. Now, I've actually what I'll do is I put the glass boots in here, because that's the best place to have them anyway, isn't it? Oh, I already got two more blaze rods from that lot. And some more rotting flesh, of course. Let's put this. In. Let's put these in. I'm not going to go anywhere near that because you can't. You really can't move, and you get end up on that plate, and it it hurts a lot. So anyway. So I also changed this around a bit as well to get in and out of here. As you can see, it's reasonably easy now. So that's it for this episode. Next episode, I would like to do look at the dank. We saw those already. And I would also like to have a look at the waystones. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.